and good morning it's still morning technically it's only what time is it 10 16 a.m so it's technically morning so i was looking at the microwave <laughs> anyway so i did not know this for calpac we are actually spending the night in fresno i thought since we're only an hour from fresno we'd just drive to fresno tomorrow morning but no we are actually going to fresno tonight we're going to do another course preview of the ak woodward park course that we're running and then we're spending the night at a hotel and having like a good team dinner and all that so today's gonna be a good day so we're day one getting to fresno for calpac tomorrow so let's get to it uh we leave from uc merced at 2 p.m so we got uh, about four hours to kind of dilly dally i am gonna do homework and packing up so that let's hop to it <laughs> That was like the longest, one of the longest homework sessions I ever had to do. I severely underestimated how long that was going to be. I was, oh my god, that was horrible. It took me like, I started that time lapse, like I just did that for five minutes. That homework session was taking like, like two hours. It was stupidly long for no reason. But I uh, got it done. It is done now. So now it is currently, oh gosh, it's 1 or 2 p.m. I'm gonna have to go eat, go pack, and then we're actually heading out too, so I gotta like do all that pretty quick. So that, let's do it. All right, we're all gonna eat, we're all eating lunch right now. They have vegan chicken nuggets. They're actually not that bad. Draven, we have Draven here. There's Cole, Cole say hi. Draven, we're gonna run cow pack tomorrow. What are your words of? See, when you're running in the lawn, you have to, you have to know that by the end, the ending will be right near the finish. So while you're on the journey, it's not about the experience. It's about the cost that it takes on the Dragon, that's a, this is like the sense. worst inspirational speech I've ever heard. Oh, that's just <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with my speech? Anyway. I don't understand it. <laughs> as the, as the, the path that you take towards the successful victory, uh, continues. You have to be sure in the back of your your head that you you know that the the real truth is what what is inside the heart the whole time. Okay, that that was good actually. That was really good. I didn't understand the first part, but that was perfect closing. Yeah. But that guys, you heard it. Well, thanks, David and Cole. You wish to say anything? I <laughs> Huh? I hope you make it out of this. Yeah, it's definitely been a wild week. We'll uh, we'll talk about it later. But anyways, oh, there's Elijah. Elijah, say hi. Yo. Oh, that. Let's eat. Yeah. Deal. All right. So we had an excellent, excellent, an excellent lunch, Draven. Would you agree? What? It was a good lunch. Yeah. Uh, not the pasta. Oh, was the pasta, pasta actually not that good? Overcooked. Oh, that's unfortunate. I didn't get any. I only had chips and uh, vegan chicken nuggets. So anyways, I need to get back to my dorm, pack up my bag real quick, and then we are off on, we, we gotta meet at the hack, leave from the hack to Woodward Park at Fresno, where we'll do a course preview, then we're heading to the hotel, um, and I believe that's it. Draven, real quick, are you coming with us, or tomorrow? Uh, no, I won't be coming. Will you be there tomorrow? No, I have class. Aww. I'll make sure the, there's good footage taken. Yeah. All right. But uh, yeah, now that I got to finish up all this stuff on the to-do list, I got, let's see, let's say it's packed for Fresno and enjoy time with the team. Got to update all the Shutterfly stuff, do two circuit analysis assignments, and finish vlogging the rest of the day. So with that, let's hop to it. Hop to it. All right, so we're all changed. I got on my, the yellow shirt that they all want us to have, and, Gotta borrow one of Elijah's dress shirts. That should be interesting. And with that, um, we're just gonna go go to the hack, and we're heading out. And uh, there's all there's all the stuff. We're good. And we're just gonna hopefully have a have a great journey there and a great course period. So with that, let's head to it. Alrighty, and with that, we are off to the hack. 
to go wait and hop into apparently this very nice charter bus, right Cole? Well that, let's hop to it. There's everybody so far, we're all gathering up. What's going? What's up Ellie? You wanna say anything? Where everyone at? Huh? I said where's everyone at? That is a good question. It's two and one everyone's supposed to be here too, so yeah, they'll be here when they're here, so let's get moving. Yeah, we got pretty much everybody here. What's up, Chavez? And otherwise got some computer work done and updated all the logs. So if that is currently 218, we're gonna leave in about 12 minutes ideally and that off to Fresno. Alright, so we are now heading off. Ooh, this is a nice char bus. I will definitely be getting a good view of that. This will remind me of the good old high school and Hartnell days. <laughs> Anyways, going to the bus. What's up? Bro, this charter bus, bus is way nicer than anything we had at Hartnell. But here's the real question. Do the outlets actually work? Oh, there was at the at the front, so I thought, dang. Oh, yeah, there are. Did you strip yours, bro? Wait, hold it. It might be on the... Hang on, where? Oh yeah, they're on the bottom right there. Okay. I don't know. I remember the man, back of Hartnell. Every time you can go back and look through my old vlogs and to see this is true. They had uh, outlets for us, but they like never worked. Every time it was heck of stupid. <laughs> but either way, we got a movie. We're chilling, so we'll be we'll be heading out soon. So let's go. So yeah, this bus where I'm actually going to do something good for the brain and actually do some reading. Jack Canfield, The Success Principles. And uh, as you can tell, I, I still got a while to go before I'm done. This this is where I left off. This is a, a, a reference tab. Anyways, uh, we're all loaded up, I think. Uh, here, LEG, you want to say anything for the vlog? Uh, I mean, I can't think of anything right now. <laughs> well, here, are you excited? Yes. Okay, good, good. Well, that, let's go. Alrighty, and just like that, we are off once again. Jogging and let's enjoy ourselves. So we did the course preview at Woodward Park. Uh, uh, I kind of heaved a little bit, so I kind of got a came down. Uh, I hope it's just bad. Like, bad lunch or something. I kind of heaved a little bit out there. It's horrible. But, oh man. That was horrible. Um, we're going to go to the hotel. We're gonna, what you call it, get ready for dinner at the old spaghetti factory. And then we're just heading back for team meeting and lights out. So that, let's go to dinner. It's just the name of the restaurant, man. Anyways, that. Um, hang on, that. Let me flip the camera real quick. Off on adventure. Here we are at another Holiday Inn. Let's see how this one goes. Well, we're all just waiting casually now. Nick, you want to say anything? Uh, I don't know why you're one sick, but <laughs> yeah, you ain't wrong there. You ain't wrong. Like COVID 2023. He ain't lying about that, folks. <laughs> Oh, let's get some rest then. Where's our room keys? Oh, wait, he's getting them. I will be out with you. Well, unfortunately, when you heave on a course preview, you're stuck getting a room to yourself, which I'm actually not going to complain about. Having a room to myself is pretty cool, but I kind of feel bad, actually, because, you know, here's the... Oh man, this has got to be the nicest shower room I've had in all the, of all the hotel rooms, but there's no bathtub. Either way, I kind of feel bad though because Sharvin was supposed to get this room, so I'm sorry Sharvin about that. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to get dressed up and go to the spaghetti factory, so let's do it. Alright, so I'm currently in the lobby. It's 6.16pm. 
We're gonna leave here from the dorm from the hotel at 6:24. Head right to the bus, leave at 6:30, and go have dinner as a team at the old spaghetti factory. We got kudos on Strata. <laughs> it's gonna be a nice little team dinner for Calpac, which which is the last meet of the regular season. Those who advance on the nationals will go on the nationals. Those who don't, uh, they'll either one keep helping train with the other team with the guys going nationals to help them train or go like into their transition phase and all that but either way we're gonna have a great team dinner and tomorrow I'll make some noisy compacts so let's see what happens oh man everybody looks nice look at leg over here looking fire mr duck luck you looking good too everyone looks good man <laughs> why is it i didn't why is it I had to have no dress shoes, man. Oh, we'll be heading out soon and heading to a nice spaghetti factory. So let's get to it. Bro, bus driver made the night. She went, damn, you all look good. Did you, did you hear that? The bus driver's like, damn, you all look good. No, no, the bus driver, she's all people like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Elijah. Hey bro, I don't think you're all about age. Yo, I thought you were sitting on the Oh, that's that's disgusting. I can't believe you just said that. Right Guys, like don't ever do what Elijah just said because that was totally unnecessary to say. My got eight no Anyways, go in the spaghetti bro. factory. It's going to be great. <laughs> Alright, we are here at the spaghetti factory. Let's go have a very nice meal. You and I both know we can't jump. Our conference rivals. Alrighty. So here we are at the Spaghetti Factory. Hey Elijah, quick question, have you eaten here before? Nope. Oh. Why is it called the Spaghetti Factory, bro? Why is it called the Spaghetti Factory? Well, it's kind of in the name. But now, you know, I just realized this is going to be our first pre-race meal without having Olive Garden. Crazy. <laughs> By the way, let's go eat. Hey, what you, what you gotta say, bro? Um, how, how you feeling for the race, bro? Well, you know, the race is what it is what it is at this point. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? Who's gonna win it? You gotta run for it, the opportunity. Yeah, hey, what you gotta say about the race, Mo? Um, me? That's a good race. Let's have a good race. What you gotta say, like? Ah, uh, man, we about to be out there. We gotta go hard, stay hard. Like, bro, we gotta go crazy out here. Oh, uh, yeah, don't listen to what he said. <laughs> Here's everyone. There's that end of the table. And then there's that end of the table. We have a very, very good dinner. Don't worry, Cynthia. Everyone's looking good. With that, we're gonna have a very, very nice meal. <laughs> All right, that was actually a really, really good dinner. Uh, Aaron, you want to say anything on the dinner? Uh, it was good and fun. Good and fun, yep. So that, we had a great night. And uh, now we're just going to head back to the hotel. It's currently 8.46 p.m. And get a good night's sleep. And hopefully, not, not hopefully, but we'll have a great race tomorrow. So that, let's go for it. Hold that, we all on the bus. We ready to go. Hey, what do you think of Spaghetti Factory for your first time? Uh, it's pretty good, you know. It's all right. Small portions. I definitely could go for another round. Maybe with you. No, I thought it was good. Oh, what? I said, I thought it was good. Yeah, it was pretty good. With that, we're ready to head back to the hotel and rest up. Let's go for it. Well, we're gonna have our team meeting real quick. Emily, you wanna say hi? Or stick out your tongue, that works too. <laughs> Virgo? <laughs> okay, good. We're gonna have our nice team meeting and then off to the Alright, so I'm back in my hotel room. Um, you know, he, Kurt V, gave actually probably one of the best coaches speeches I've ever heard. Really had us all close our eyes and envision for tomorrow. It was like really, really, really. It was different, actually, if you want in a word, but it was really special. Um, and you know, there was so much emotion at that pre uh, that pre race meeting. You know, uh, Noah just poured his heart out into that speech. He cared about everyone. He had a very special thing to say to say about every single team. It was just so special, so sweet. 
and the girls they all have great things to say too like for their for themselves but also about the guys team uh the championship character brie and alberto you know a few people deserve that brie anytime I talk with her she's always super kind and she's got big aspirations for law school and just finishing her uc m degree and it's just so special and alberto one of the coolest guys i've ever met you know sometimes i get down on myself I'm like, bro, I feel like a flake. I feel like I'm not doing what I should be, and I feel like a loser. And, you know, he's always the guy who's going to be like, Josh, don't worry. You're, you're not any of those things. He's like, don't worry. You'll break through when it's time, and you're great. Like, don't worry about it. You're going to be okay. And you've had some setbacks with, with your leg and some of your mentality, but you don't give up. I can tell that about you. And you're not a flake. You're always playing Those two earned their champions of character, and I'm glad Coach saw that and sought to recognize them because those two deserve it. So with that, that's day one of the vlog. <laughs> um, let's see what happens at CalPAC tomorrow. Pray I, I'm just gonna give my all at the at that line. Um, pray I don't like throw up in the middle of the night or something. I pray I don't have another heave attack like I did today and. We'll do it, but know that I was one of the best pre-race talks I've ever had with the team. That was, and I've had a lot. I've had a lot, but that one there's something special about that one. So tomorrow, let's just go for it, team. And other than that, you see, Marissa, thanks for allowing me to run with you guys. Uh, this is definitely a special group. So back in the shower, go to bed, and tomorrow morning we're up.